What's up, Meta Nerds? This video is all about the Lancer class Pursuit Craft, a ship that was used by Asajj Ventress when she was a bounty hunter, and later by Ketsu Onyo during the time of the Galactic Empire. It was manufactured by Mandel Motors, the Mandalorian owned and operated shipbuilders, who gave us the Kamurk class fighter and the Keldabe class battleship. Brand new, this would cost you 120,000 credits, a great price considering its stats, and the fact that the X Wing costs 30,000 credits more. At a length of 18 meters, or 59 feet, it was about 2.5 times the length of a TIE Fighter, while at a width of 20 meters, or 66 feet, it was about 2 TIE Bombers across. And at a height of 7 meters, or 23 feet, it was a tall Jawa shorter than the Millennium Falcon. Its two high performance ion engines were similar in design to the Y Wing, and gave the Lancer a top speed of 1,050 km per hour, or 652 miles per hour making it just as fast as the Falcon and the X-Wing. Its Class 1 hyperdrive was the same found in the A-Wing and the Venator class, which made it faster than the Imperial class Star Destroyer. As for its armament, it had this dorsal mounted light triple laser cannon turret, followed by these fixed forward mounted medium laser cannons, pivoting light laser cannons located here, and on the ventral side, there was a tractor beam projector. Essentially, this ship is what happens when you have a light civilian freighter that is built by the Mandalorians, making it similar in size, but much more deadly than the unmodified YT-2400 that was built by Corellian Engineering Corporation. Another example for this is that this line was started after a large order was promised by Black Sun. If Mandel Motors could make a craft that could be used for transporting spice and stolen goods, but also be fast enough to pursue merchant ships and the transports being used by other gangs. The weaponry and shielding helped it fight off whatever escorts they might have had, while also being able to destroy most patrol craft, including local police ships, and being easily able to destroy TIE fighters. Its interior contained two cabins, a small kitchen, a bathroom, and of course the main cargo hold. Its maintenance was incredibly cheap and easy to perform, due to it using simple but effective parts, while also having modular interiors and weapon hardpoints that allowed for quick internal rearrangement for different missions, while having the potential for increased firepower. This was also combined with software called a MKIV fire control system that was one of the most advanced of its time, allowing for accuracy on par with a purpose-built starfighter. As for its history, on Asajj Ventress's mission with Quinlan Voss, she used a version of this ship that she called the Banshee, and later it was used by Sabine's old friend Ketsu Onyo, whose ship named the Shadowcaster was used during her time in the Black Sun Crime Syndicate, and during her mission with Sabine, they would use this ship to transport the gonk droid EG-86 to Princess Leia and the Rebel Alliance. So that's it for its history, and the only cool behind the scenes facts is that these canon stats differ greatly from those first introduced in the role playing guide No Disintegrations made for the game Edge of the Empire. It had nearly double the length, from 18 meters to 34, while having a class 2 hyperdrive instead of the canon class 1. And this ship was intended in a really cool tie-in that would have been in one of the unfinished Clone Wars episodes, with the concept art for the Banshee being released during Star Wars Celebration Anaheim, a design that was said to be based off of original concept art for the LAAT gunship. So that's it for the Lancer class pursuit craft, but most important of all, remember, if you want a ship with the most gun options, always buy from Mandel Motors, and the Force will be with you. Always.